Sculpty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield. Together, we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing. Cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott. Cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid. Providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Hi. Welcome to Quilty. Hi, Mary. Hi, well, Quilty fans. It's so great to have you with us and Mom whenever you come on the show. It's like birthday. It's great. It's like uh, it's like family. It's like family, <laughs> which is, you know, weird and fun. Yeah, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> um, so we are going to do a Blocks of Go Go show. Uh, Garden Chevrons is a quilt that is from the Fonz and Porter, from the, from the archives, from the catalog. And sometimes in Quilty Magazine, we'll run one of these. You know, we, we do 400 quilts a year. Do you really? Wow, yes. Through the magazine office. Fonz and Porter, for all the publications, for all the yeah. publications, 400 quilts a year get published, which is why if there's an error every <laughs> once in a while, you got to give us a little bit of a break because, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, our reputation is based on the best instructions there are, yeah. and they are fantastic. I mean, that's how, that's what Liz and I made us stand out from everybody else that's because right. our step-by-steps were so good. That's right. So and the, so it's a lot of quilts, isn't the, it? It's a lot of quilts. Mm -hmm. And so um, we have this wonderful catalog. So Quilty Magazine will run sometimes a quilt from the Fonz and Porter Archive or a pickup, call it a pickup. And uh, this Garden Chevron's quilt was in Quilting Quickly in, I forget which month, yeah. but it's going to be coming up in Quilty because we think it's a great quilt for Quilty viewers. And uh, it's juicy, it's fun, it's paper piecing. It's got and the right look. It's got the right look, mm -hmm. and uh, you're going to show us how it works. Yes. And I just wanted to point out, Ooh. I went to our stash, our Quilty stash, and I picked out I love th this. this Northcott Solid and this Moda Jen Kingwell print. Mm. Wouldn't this be great in this quilt? It would be. You could add it, it in mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to say, yeah. you know, shop your stash. You don't have to buy new fabric for all your all your new projects. And sometimes it's surprising what works. Exactly. You know that one I just made. You know. I know. Are you sashing? I didn't even plan. In Wait the first till you place. see it. Okay, so the block. Well, you. I mean, who's who's talking? You well, and me. Well, let's just. This is the block. It's 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 not square. That's for one thing. It's, it's a hexi. It's a hexi. It's a hexi. And it's paper pieced. Mm -hmm. Here's the stuff. Mm -hmm. And so you know when you look at this, you can see like all paper piece patterns. It's numbered. Mm -hmm. Pieces are added in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on in to order. finish the block. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and it starts like this in the magazine. You get one half of this mm -hmm. hexi pattern because we, the magazine isn't big enough to print the whole thing. So mm -hmm. what's the first thing you do here? Well, I tape the two pieces together. And well, you I, make a photocopy. It, well, yeah, I made a photocopy. Actually, they gave me the photocopy on this, but yes, normally <laughs> you would do it. Well, because people give Marianne Vaughn's <laughs> photocopy. Because I was going to prepare this, and I had fun preparing it. And so I, I use double side tape. I oh. love double side tape because it doesn't get in the That's way. Brilliant. Put this together, and then I. I made my, you know, there's lots of things you can use for your paper piecing pattern. I just, I don't know where I got this tracing paper, but it's really thin. And so I used that and I made a copy. I made, actually I made, you, you make a copy for every one of the blocks. Mm -hmm. I forget how many, but you make a lot of these. Some people photocopy them, but um, yeah. I just, uh, yeah, so we should turn this, let's turn this this way so oh, everybody yeah. sees. Mm -hmm. So it's toward them. So, um, so I made my copies. I have that Omnigrid ruler too. Show, go ahead. Yeah, it's not fair. Yeah, okay. Got it okay, here it is. This one. No, oh, that one. one. Oh, like one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Omni okay. makes a really great. This is a great ruler for this. Yeah, and because really, it's a good point you make, Mary. Because a lot of times you don't want a, a thick ruler, you know, a big unwieldy ruler to, right. to do this finer work. So yeah, I made need, those. You need to see where you are. And also, in our magazines, we always tell you what size to cut these pieces so that you don't waste too much fabric, yeah. and so you kind of start out with the right size piece, although they are bigger than you actually need. Right. And of course. Um, what we do to start this, start with is we're going to do this. We, you always sew on the side that's right side up to you. And, mm -hmm. and I want to stop and say that my tip for beginner paper piecers is if you are having a hard time seeing where you need to sew, you've got it flipped wrong. Mm -hmm. It should be totally clear to you. Mm -hmm. The numbers and the lines should be totally clear. Mm -hmm. You should not have to like, is that in my right sewing? Mm -hmm. The fabric is backstage. The fabric's backstage. Mm -hmm. You're building the block from the back. So that's your tip. Okay. So this, I use this little glue stick to help me with my first pieces. And I put a little dab there. Mm -hmm. And I took the number one piece and put it on here. 
Okay. So the first piece of your paper piecing goes right side up. Right, right side up. Okay. And then, and I gotta do this facing toward me, but, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna put a fold between the lines between number one and number two. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take the bigger ruler and your rotary cutter, and I'm gonna trim off a quarter inch away from this uh, fold on that side. Because otherwise, you need to close your rotary cutter, woman. Uh, well, I know, I know, you know, I, that's terrible. I don't do that that way because I'm gonna cut, turn this over here and I'm gonna fold the other side and do the same thing. And this technique she's doing, you would do every time you add a piece. You, okay, you don't have to, but it reduces bulk, it keeps things out of your way. Once you put on a piece, fold back the line and trim it, just it like makes, that. It makes a neater product. It does. And show so us yeah. just the one, what would come next. What would come next one more here, and is then that we'll I, would, I would put my piece that is numbered number mm -hmm. two, and I would turn it over, mm -hmm. So on that line. Give me that. I'm going to sew that. Okay. Okay. I will. Because I want to show the awesomeness of the baby lock sewing machine. Well, sewing with it. the thread cutter. It's with just the thread fantastic. cutter. And I want to talk about how when you're doing paper piecing, it's a good idea to shorten your stitch length just a little bit because with the tracing paper, it doesn't matter too much. But if you're going through regular paper, which sometimes is all you have, right. you want to really perforate the paper because you're going to tear the paper off. So if you shorten your stitch to like a 2.0 or a 1.8, that's better. Okay, there you're going to sew between the, the one and the two. Right. Great. Put it down here. And what's great, yeah, the thread cutter is really great. I've shortened my stitch length a little bit. Right. If you like paper piecing or wanted paper piecing, having a machine with a thread cutter like this melody is yes. fabulous. And I love paper piecing, and you don't. It's because a lot of thread, I have a lot of thread. You have a, wait, a lot of thread? What? Well, yeah, yeah, I, I think, you know, I think the reason is um, that I didn't start out doing it. I started out right. doing something else. There you go. I think it's because I started out with, you know, norm, regular, non, different styles of patchwork, yeah, and yeah. I like my, what I did first. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we, we add that piece, then we add the next piece, and the next, and then it, pretty soon it looks like this. Yep. And I use the same method. As I go on, I would fold back between five and seven. Trim mm -hmm. that off. I'd fold back here, trim that mm -hmm. off, and I would continue adding pieces so until the next log, I got it bigger. Right, mm -hmm. and the next log that would come on here, and you would look at your pattern and make sure it would be a solid orange. Mm -hmm. And you know, the great thing is, this is one more tip, is if you're using solids for a paper piece, you don't have to worry about facing them the right way or not, because mm -hmm. it's the same. It's the same. It's, if you're doing it for the first time, Maybe I would say idea. do it with mm -hmm. solids, and then right. as you advance, you'll see right. how it works, and it's right. cool. Okay, so yeah, yeah you'd add... You'd, I'd add the next, I'd trim these down. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I would, right, you, we talked about that. Take that off. And then we'd add the next, this would, these would be smaller, mm -hmm. and I'd add, add the next pieces. And right. on and on until it looked like this, which always looks pretty hairy. Yeah. But then once you turn it over and you trim on the outside we line. Gotta, I'm going to trim it. I, I, I okay. got to trim it. I right. love trimming it. Yes, we'll, okay. We'll <laughs> just enough time to do it. So we lay our ruler down. And always look to make sure you're cutting on the right, the correct line. You don't want to cut on the inside line. We've got our quarter inch seam added, so just make sure you know before you cut. And of course, on a printed block. piece, or if you photocopy this, it would be dashed, and you would know not that that's your stitching line, and you wouldn't cut on it. Mom, so you're going to cut on the outside line. Will you um, will you let them know about photocopying and how you have to be careful? with reduction or printing oh, it out. Yes, right, and you want to make sure that uh, the Photoshop knows that you have, the copying shop knows that you have the right to copy this, and usually the patterns say that it's okay. Right, but I mean like, sometimes a, a printer will reduce slightly, they'll oh. reduce the what you're printing yes, to get it to right. fit on the so page. So you want to compare your copy with the printed uh, copy in the magazine, do a little measurement, and make sure that they that nothing weird has happened. Exactly, because that can, Mark Lipinski told me, he, he was teaching an entire class. Oh, and you rely on someone else to make his copies? <laughs> it was wrong. The oh. whole class. Guess what? They weren't that nice about it. It's hard to outlive that. Yeah. See, look at, look at that. Now it looks it's great. Really cool. And so we have two blocks for Garden Chevrons. So beautiful. Mom, thanks so much for coming on the well, show. It was a blast. Do some blocks, paper piecing. Don't be scared. Give it a shot. Bye. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things.
Havel's Sewing. Cut to the point with Havel's Sewing. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Northcott. Cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid. Providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years.